YouTube. It's your boy Fishing Ken, Hook City TV. You know I got my main man with me. Hook City is going down. Hey, today, man, I'm back out here at another gro local grocery store. And let me tell you something, baby. I got the feeling it's time to do another catch, clean, and cook. We just did the uh, crappie balls. Shout out to Auntie. If y'all saw the crappie uh, balls video, please in the comment section, let me know what you thought about it. I know that there's another unique way we can prepare these crappie. So I want to know, how do you prepare your crappie? Today, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do with this crappie, but we're at the grocery store. I need a few crappie so that I can try out this new recipe that I literally just thought up in my head. I hope y'all ready for it. It's about to go down. Listen, if you made it this far into this introduction and you haven't subscribed, man, hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so y'all will get the notifications when your boy drops some more heat. Now let's go get some meat. All right, guys, I'm gonna use Dad as a prop. We're gonna line it out real quick. Dad is out here using that 12 foot ACC crappie stick. You know, he got it matched up with the Daiwa Regal. Listen, and then we got that Power Pro 10 pound high vis line, man, so we can get it checked out. Look, let me see your jig real quick, Dad. Man, we're still using these small hand ties. Dad is gonna be using that black and chartreuse unpainted jig head, which is still a color man look last but not least we're gonna be using that Garmin live scope look 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 at, look at all three somebody look at all three look at all three hold on let me oh my goodness gracious look at all three we got everything we need right there everything we need is right there baby swimming if you see the white dot we're gonna try to give him all we got let's go wait oh boy Oh, groceries. I see groceries. Is it going to land him? Dad, what you doing over there, Hook? Trying to set the hook. Trying to set hook. Make him look. Now, that's the real hook and look right there. there you, you hooked and I looked. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Let me see. I, let, me check, let me check the back straps on it. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I think that one going to go to the holding tank. We ain't going to be nice. But we ain't got no ice today. We ain't gonna be out here long catching these fish, y'all. I just need a few for what I'm trying to do. I'm telling y'all, don't miss it, man. Look, right now we're fishing in 23 foot of water. Water temperatures, 88 degrees. It's the hot middle of the day. Thank God for the umbrella setup, man. Dad just got on one. They're a little bit finicky, but again, I know if we sit here for a little while, they ain't gonna be able to resist what we got. <coughs> and what we have, what we have is the small hand tie jigs matched with a little bit of scent. Now watch this rod get bent. Here it comes. That's a good one, ain't it? Or no? No. Yeah, that's a keeper. I mean, we don't need him, but. Yeah, that grocery. Oh, grocery. That's it right there, guys. Look, the funny thing. Come on, Dad. Here he comes. Woo! Was you, you got it? No, man. God, dog. He was there for the taking. Hold on. There's it's still a few more settled in. This one ain't going to make. Well, yeah, he is. We ain't going to. We got a few for eating, for eating purposes. Guys, we're gonna respect them. Look at that, there's a double tail. This is, got old double tail here. That's a good one there, y'all. Got some good back straps on him. We're not gonna use this one, no. Healthy fish, good looking fish. About a 10 and a half, nah, it's probably 11. I should be calibrated right now. It's about 11 inch crappie. That one get to go home, though. Thank you, Lord, for, for the day. Sink, baby. 
Here you go. Something interesting I want y'all to check out. My brush pile is over there to the left, like we're pointing with that uh, zip top. But look, when I pan to the right, look at all them fish sitting out there. They're not on the brush pile. There's probably a lot of small ones, but they're there. Ooh, he got it. Yes, sir. Ooh. Yes, sir, Dad. All right, Dad. You, you listen. You went down to the grocery store, and you came back up with some sandwich meat. What you think? Yeehaw. Yes, sir, baby. Let's go. Got a donkey. Let's go. Got it. Big one. Huh? What you got? Let me see him. Let me see him. What you doing up there, Hook? Got him shook. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice crappies. I don't, I don't need no more. Oh, don't you do that. Wrangle that horse, Ken. Big one? Wrangle that horse. We'll make him give up. You got to give up. You got to give up. Put put the sweep on him. Put the sweep. Keep that water in his mouth. Especially if you're waiting for your buddy to get the net. You ain't got to drag him. Just direct him. Just direct him. Oh! Boy. How sweet it is to be loved by you. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Oh, man. Tell you what, man. These fish, they finicky. But... There's always an exception to the rule, man. These fish want plastic, and I haven't found that all year long. But today, that constant pursuit, shoot. Make them come see me. Make them come see me, and I tell you what, that Euro tackle, man, that Euro tackle, lime truce head, boy. Whew. God, look at somebody come and look at this. What's going on, boy? If I get hungry. So y'all, we appreciate y'all for sitting in with us, man. We're, we're, we're at Nature's Grocery Store getting this organic stuff. You're not gonna find this at Aldi. You're not gonna find this at Trader Joe's. You ain't gonna find it at Albertsons, Kroger, Walmart, Winn-Dixie. Give me another one, Daddy. Give me an old school grocery Piggly store. Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly. You ain't gonna find these babies at Piggly Wiggly. We got these from God's. God's Grocery Store. So listen. Whew. We got it going on right now, man. In the comment section, what do you like to get best out of God's grocery store? What what do you like to catch? What what I know a lot of y'all are coming from different places. Maybe hunting, maybe fishing. What what is it? What do you like most? The most organic food you can get from God's grocery store. Me personally, it's bluegill. But today. We are doing that crappy catch clean cook. That what's your, out of out of the woods, out of the water, organically that you can't find in grocery stores. What do you like best? Probably that gill. That gill hard to beat. That gill. That gill give you give your mouth a thrill. I ain't lying. So guys, we're gonna get back down here, have a few more, and I meet you at the house for the uh, clean and then cook portion of this thing. I'm telling you, don't hang up. Okay, don't change the channel on me and go watch something else. You want to see the way we're about to prepare this crappie. I can tell you now, it's not about to get fried, and we're not making crappie balls. We already did that. Again, check out. Check out the link, man, if y'all want to see the crappie balls. But I got an idea in my head, and I think y'all are going to love it. I pray y'all do. I got to catch some more fish, though. Let me see if we can get one more donkey before we get out of here. Hee-haw. All right, guys, that's going to do it, man. It's hot out here. And we didn't have no ice. So we got to get those few fish back to the house, cleaned and cooked. Do not go nowhere. This is one you don't want to miss. This don't get done. Listen, Hook City TV, we bring in something fresh and new. Guys, in the comment section, if y'all enjoyed that part of the video, let your boy know. Hey, we about to fly and crappie are going to fry. Or something like that. 
Yeah, something of that nature. Something to that nature. Listen, let's get to the ramp. All right, guys, we made it to the next day, man. I was beat when I finally made it home, so I wasn't able to start this uh, clean and cook process. But, man, we are about to start the clean and cook process. No, we're not frying these babies because, you know, we're trying to stay healthy. So we got our gloves on, man. I got my knife back there. Got to go back in the house, grab the fish real quick. We'll be right back. We're gonna show you how we're gonna clean these today. And no, we're not using crappie fillets. Check it out. All right, guys, here we have our fish. Straight up donkey. What we're gonna do today, guys, we're gonna use this uh, regular spoon. And we are going to, we're gonna use just a regular spoon and we're gonna scale this fish because we're gonna be using the entire fish for this catch clean cook. This is what you have to know when you're scaling fish. The scales on your fish run this way, so they're going to lay flat that way. So what you do is you take your spoon, fork, knife, whatever you use. You're going to start here and scale up. Okay? And scale up. What I like to do is kind of do it the same way I mow my yard. Just one, one layer at a time. That way I ensure I get all the scales. So you want to lay them flat. You want to get all those scales off. Um, be very particular about getting under the fins and close to the dorsal fin here because you'll have you'll have scales up there. You don't want scales in your mouth, man. It's just unpleasant. All right? When you get one side, flip them over, do the same thing. All right? So we got both sides. We're going to rinse these off. Uh, after we get them all scaled, first we got to gut them after we get them all scaled. We don't want to fish with the guts in them. And then we'll uh, rinse them off and get them ready to go where they got to go. All right, guys. So somebody joined me outside and it's fishing Cammy. So we're going to have to show her. She went in there and, and dressed herself and everything for the occasion. You want to be on camera today, right? Mm -hmm. Don't get shot now. You said you want to be on camera. Mm -hmm. All right. So what you're going to do, you're going to take this part of the spoon. You're going to start at his tail and scrape up. You got to hold him. Hold him. And then scrape. Dig and scrape. Do it again. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. And now you try. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. All right, guys. For the next part is the gutting. Um, and I'm just going to kind of explain it real quick. So the first thing I do is I grab the fish, okay? And I take my knife and I make a cut right here. All right, I'm going to cut down and that's going to expose the fish's gills. Um, and then I'm going to put my knife in. I'm gonna go all the way through to the anus and I'm gonna come out. That's gonna open the fish up. All the guts are there. You pull those, you pull your gills, and you're done. The fish is now opened up. I'll take everything out. Just reach in, grab it, get everything out. Almost all in one grab. So, what we did was went ahead and finished that out. Listen, this is what it needs to look like um, when you have completely cleaned your fish. It does look whole. Again, we made one incision and then two incisions. Don't be alarmed by the smoke, guys. We gotta get the, um, the pit boss rolling for this uh, entire catch clean cook. But the inside of the cavity looks clean. It needs to look clean. If it don't look clean, you need to do it again. For this next step, man, again, we have the clean uh, fish. But what we need to do is take all the moisture out of it. Now, we are going to use oil um, before we grill this crappie. But what you want to do is just make sure the moisture is out of it. We don't want a lot of water. If anything, we want oil. So I'm just going to take a few paper towels, put a little squeeze on it, and let it pick up all that extra moisture off that crappie. If you guys have ever grilled crappie, I want to hear it in the comment section. How did you grill your crappie? Um, this is not nothing that I do a lot. Um, I kind of just researched it, had an idea, and I'm going with it to see how it comes out, man. Um, I love fried crappie, y'all, but I have to, have to, have to start a healthier lifestyle. So we're going to be trying some different stuff. In the comment section, man, give me your take on grilled crappie. Um, let me know how you do it. Y'all see what we got here. Next up, seasoning. All right, y'all. So like I said, it's going to be time to do our... Uh, seasoning. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil, guys, and we're going to oil this fish down. It's going to be real important to do to oil in two places. Number one, the fish, 
Number two, your grill grates. We don't want this fish to stick and we definitely don't want it to burn. Um, if it sticks, then you pull all your fish skin off, which we're leaving on in hopes that we will not, um, that the fish will, will stay put together pretty well. So we don't want to burn it and make it stick and let it pull off on the grill. That way the presentation will be good. Number two, we got to do the grill grates for the exact same reason. So I'm just going to take a little oil, put it on there, and then I'm just going to spread it around with my hands. Okay. Watch these fins, y'all. These fins are still sharp. Listen, they'll still get you. They'll get you and hit you. We don't want none of that. So we want to make sure that thing is good and oily. Flip it over, do the same thing. So once we get them oiled up, what we're going to do next is score it. And it's just going to help us do uh, a few things. We're going we're gonna to take it at a 45 degree to the bone and just score it, okay? We're going to do that a few times. Usually three or four, depending on how big your fish are. And that's just gonna help make sure that that heat cooks all the way through to our meat. And it's also gonna give us a visual of when that fish starts looking like it's done. So I'm just gonna score it. Like I said, about four times. These are some pretty thick fish. So we wanna make sure before that skin gets done that that meat is good to go, all right? So that's what we get right there. Scoring your fish. Once we've scored it, guys, there's two things I'm gonna use today. Again, we're just trying something, man. I know it's not probably the healthiest, but we're gonna use Slap Your Mama, which is good for pretty much eat anything. It's a Cajun, Cajun seasoning. Um, we're gonna use him, no MSG, all natural flavors. Uh, and then we're gonna put a little paprika on there. It seems like every time I cook with paprika, you get a good color on it. So we're gonna put uh, Slap Your Mama on first. It'll be light. But we're, gonna, we're gonna slap his mama first. All right, then second, we're gonna put that paprika on it. It's just something about paprika on, on anything grilled, man. We're gonna add one more little deal to this, guys. I have some uh, lemons here. I wanna make sure you get your little sticker off of there, especially if you're buying from Walmart or anywhere like that. We're gonna make little slices out of this lemon and we're gonna stuff the body cavity, AKA put it inside the fish before we actually put it on our preheated grill. Hey, real quick, before we go any further, man, I just want to show y'all something that I received in the uh, P.O. box, man. I want to give a shout out to Mr. Miles Wilson for sending me this, man. This is freshly ground uh, cornmeal. He saw some of the uh, crappie catch, clean, and cooks I've done before where I fried the fish, and he wanted to send me some of this freshly ground cornmeal from J.T. Pollard's Extra Fine. He said um, that the lady said that it was just freshly ground and I appreciate them for this man um, I haven't contacted them yet to say thank you. So I saw fit to put it in a catch cleaning cook crappie video man Thank you very much, and we will be using this soon. We appreciate it, man All right, y'all here. We are at the pit boss man. Listen anytime I grill anything I always like to set my grill between 400 to 450 um, The pit boss it'll get us close man. So I'm good with where we're at I'm looking at 400 here. We're going to open it up. I want to make sure that the grates were hot because what's going to happen is that heat is going to cook that skin and then it's going to release that skin so we won't stick. If you're not, if you don't have hot grates, it will stick. Man, y'all, I wish y'all could smell this right now. It is smelling good. Again, this is my first time grilling with a whole fish, um, a whole crappie. Again, man, I'm a fried guy, but guys, we gotta get this up off us, so I gotta try to eat a little bit healthier, and I hope that you guys are trying to do the same thing. Um, I'm ready, guys. I'm excited and delighted about what we got here. I'm in love with this pit boss, if you can't tell. Guys, check out the uh, Catch, Clean, and Cook folder. We do have a couple of Catch, Clean, and Cooks. If you like to see wild hog uh, hunts and, and backstraps being cooked, we got that for you. Um, we have a Catfish, Catch, Clean, and Cook. Y'all check that out as well. Last but not least, you know we got that bluegill sandwich. That thing is real popular right now. If you haven't seen it, make sure you go check it out. Now listen, before anybody asks, yes, I just changed shirts. Why? Because I'm in Texas. And it's hot as the devil's chin hairs. Okay? I'm out here sweating like a fat kid chasing the ice cream truck. 
it's hot and I didn't want to look crazy on my own video, so I took my life in my own hands and I changed my shirt. Yes, I changed to black, but we're cooking in the shade, so we're gonna be all right. Boy, I hope y'all got y'all smelly vision on. Oh Lord, Jesus. Okay, that just made me glad. So what you wanna do, you wanna take your spatula and just lift up on that fish and make sure he'll turn. I think we're gonna be good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna be good. I'm gonna give it a few more minutes. I'm gonna give it a few more minutes on that side, but I think we're gonna be good. All right, guys, I got a bit of bad news, all right? I was on the roll, forgot about my fish. Fishing came and came back. And so I started talking to her. We were playing hide and go seek. I got sucked in, I know. In the midst of all that, forgot my fish. I made a flip. I'm upset at myself. We do have a casualty of war. But those other two up there. God, those look like they are tasty, don't they? They look tasty, don't they? Are you ready to try some of those bad boys? Yep, Fish and Cammy. All right, Fish and Cammy. Let's get these out of here, guys. And I think we're going to be about ready to taste and see. Ooh, they look like they dead. Uh, they better be dead. All right, guys. We're officially done. And this is where we... Don't bite your screen. Don't tell them don't bite their screen. Some people watch this camera, they might try to bite their screen. Okay. Let's bite the screen. They might say, ah. watch it. You ever seen something that looks so delicious you want to, ah. <laughs> No. No, okay, well, some people do. Some people do. Okay, so we put a little, little lemons on it just to make it look good. So take your lemons off. I might suck them. You like sour stuff, don't you? Ah. Okay, so what I'm going to do, man, that looks good, man. Ooh, listen. Ooh, okay. You're going to take the little fin off. Ooh, it's easy. Pull it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so take your fork. My fork. And look right here. We're gonna push in and peel off. Just ooh, look at that. Okay. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. And peel off. Look at all that. Look at all that pretty white oh, meat. Oh my god. Look at all that pretty white meat. It held together just like I needed it to. Okay, so look. Pick up that part. That's the part you're gonna eat with your fork. Oh, we got to say grace. Will you say grace for me, please? Heavenly Father, God bless all the food people's eating. God bless everybody who's eating. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Kami. Okay. All right. First bite. You go first. Tell me what you think. Okay. You're just going to use your hands. K-Man, stop. I got all of you. Like the K-Man. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what you got. What? Oh Lord, oh Lord. You gotta tell them what you think. It's good, but spicy. Is it a little spicy? It's hot, yeah, it's spicy. What about the flavor? Hold on, you gotta tell What about the flavor? Okay, hold on, let me, let me do something real quick. Let me try mine. Now we have to be careful and daddy's gonna help you peel it because this one has bones in it, okay? Mm. So there's some without the skin and then there's some with the skin. A lot of people say the skin is flavorful. Let's see. Oh, wait. There goes some bones. Yeah. I ate the skin. Yeah. I'm going to skin too. Still true. Woo! That's good. It do got a little spice in it. I think it was that slap your mama I put on there. Hold on. Guys, look at look at how thick and white that is. Mm, 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 mm. That's mean and clean right there. Look at oh look look at what, let me show y'all what Cammy done exposed. Hold on. Look how white boy don't get. I don't think it's a fish out there whiter than that. Not in fresh water. The tail. Oh, wait, people say the tails are good. Would you try to tell? No. That's the one thing I want to point out that I don't think you realized. I'm going to taste it. No, no, no. You're going to taste the tail? Ugh. It's crispy, ain't it? 
Mm. You can break it off, but it's bones, remember? It's all bones. You don't want to taste the tail no more. Get that away. That okay. Away. Well, if you scrap the tail, you want me to tell you the other part that's on this fish that you that you ain't noticed yet? No. The head. Look. There's the eyes. There's the mouth. Then you ate it. It don't matter. Don't do it. It's still good, ain't it? Stop talking about me. You did that. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, there you have it. Catch, clean, and cook. You gonna put your little lemon on it? Oh, uh, you doing it the right way. Go on ahead, girl. Go on ahead then. Okay, okay. Now you wanna look at it, make sure there's no bones. I don't see anything. Get it. Sour and go. Oh Lord, it looked like it hit you. Did it hit you? It it could the um hit the back of your mouth? No, um, um, so it took the um spice away. Oh, the lemon to let me try some. Let me try some. Took the spice away. Like that. You can we can caveman this. I mean it peels right off the bone as long as you understand what part you eat. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Hold on, let me make sure ain't no bones. Yeah, you you can eat all that. Let me try. Mmm. Got it down, girl. I never lie. So, mm, 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 so, mm, mm. Sometimes, but I don't. You like that? that man, listen. Ooh. Mm. Chew it up good. Guys, thank y'all for watching. Catch, clean, and cook crappie. This is the second or third one we this is the third one we've done, the second one with fishing cammy. So stay tuned. If y'all want to see more fishing cami in these catch clean and cook so she can give y'all that honest five-year-old review that she just gave. Or bird us. eating. Birdie, are you gonna eat dove when we get those? Those are bones. We appreciate y'all for watching. It's your boy Fishing Ken, Hook City TV, with my little princess, Fishing Cami. We'll see y'all next time.